Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. So today we're going to be mining on Unminable. We're going to be using my ASIC, the L3+, and we're going to be mining Flux. I'm going to show you how to set this all up. If you want to mine any other coins or tokens within Unminable, all the settings are virtually the same. So let's get into it and take a look. So first things first, Unminable, what is it and how does it work? Briefly, it's kind of like nice hash. What it does is that it takes whatever device you're using. Today we're using the L3 Plus, so it's going to be using the script algorithm, and it mines the most profitable coins or tokens. Probably merge mining Litecoin and Dogecoin. Excuse me, I had some White Castle. And it takes what it makes from the merge mining and then just pays you out in whatever coin or token you choose. As you can see, there's several to pick from in here. You could be mining anything you want or theoretically mining anything you want but really just being paid out in it uh for instance ravencoin ravencoin prides themselves on being asic resistant so are you really mining ravencoin no you're not you're really just using your l3 plus or your s19 or s17 or s9 or whatever it may be through the script or the sha256 algorithm and you're mining whatever is most profitable and then they're just paying you out in ravencoin or whatever it may be. Today we're going to be doing Flux, so that in a nutshell is what Unminable is. So we're just going to go ahead and click on Flux, and as you can see here they have Script and SHA-256 now. They've had it for a little while, but i uh, just doing this video because I've turned on some of my L3 Pluses to mine uh, Flux, so I thought I'd do a video on it. As you can see they have a lot of other hardware in here, graphics cards, you go all the way across. You can see all the different ones they have uh, for whatever algorithm and then CPU mining. So, uh, you know, if you're mining CPU mining, you're mining most likely Monero. And but instead of Monero, you want to get paid out in Ravencoin. You could do this on there today. Like I said, we're going to be doing it on the script algorithm. So we have it right here. And if we scroll down just a little bit, we can see that this is the server we're going to be using. And this is going to be the address and your information you'll need to put into your miner. I'm going to show you how to do all of these things. Uh, first off, though, if you want, you can click on this part right here where it says Ant Miner. It'll bring up this page here, and it does give you a little bit of information. Um, if you're not sure which one to use, we are going to be using Pool 2 for the global server. And if I minimize this, uh, where is it? Is it this one? There it is right there. So let's bring everything back up. And this is it right here. So I just wanted to show you here. Uh, as you can see, this information right here is the same as the information I you just saw right there is right here in my uh, notepad. And this is really how you're going to make it look. So first you pick the coin that you want to mine um, or get paid out in, I should say. We're going to be doing flux. So it's flux colon and then your flux address dot and then your worker name L3 plus two. I have several L3 pluses, several L3 plus pluses, and I have a, you know, very uh, generic naming convention. This is my L3 plus number two. So there you go. So there's my worker name. So this is going to be the... Um, uh, server we're going to be mining on and then we have our flux for the coin colon our address and then the worker name and then x for the password now if you want to use my referral link i really would appreciate it it does give you a little bit of a discount on your mining fees and it does give me a little bit of a kickback to help support the channel certainly would appreciate it i'll leave it in the description below of course any of the websites we use i have links in the description below also if the video helps you can always throw me a thumbs up so let's go ahead and hop right over and take a look at this so just for uh so you can see it this is the server you'll be using in here you'll need to choose which one you want though and then this is the information along with the x for the password so let's hop over here and let's just scroll down so i can bring that to the top i'll bring up my notepad and we'll put it like that so first things first we're going to want to go ahead and put the server information in. We're going to go ahead and copy this and put it here. So we hit control C, it'll copy it. And then we hit control V and it'll paste it. So we'll put that in all three of these right there. Then the next thing we want to do is come to this section right here. Now, if you do want to use my referral code, it's super easy to do. I mean, it's super easy. And if you don't, I understand that's okay. Maybe just a thumbs up. 
that'll help me of course uh, but you can just go ahead and have the flux wallet address dot uh, worker name but if you want to use my referral code it is right here and I'll have a link in the description for it as you can see this is the referral code and all you need to do is put in the same as before flux wallet address dot worker name then you put the hashtag or the pound symbol and then my referral code I will put uh, just this section right here in the in the uh, description below and you can just copy this and put it in but if you didn't want to do it this is how you do it you just simply copy it here hit control C and then control V control V and control V and then in here we're just going to go ahead and put an X for the password lowercase X and an X there again if you did want to put that referral code in you would hit pound and then I don't remember mine offhand, you know, you'd put it in like that. And that would be it. You'd put that in all three sections and that'd be the same thing. You come down here, click save and apply and you should be off to the races. Um, let's go ahead and check out mine. Here it is right here. I just started mining flux yesterday. I do have three of my L3 pluses on there. Excuse me. Damn you, White Castle. I actually have an L3++, that's my number five, if you couldn't uh, come to that conclusion on your own. I have an L3++4, and I have an L3 plus number two. So like I said, I had several of each of these. I just grabbed three of them and threw them on there. So there they are, those are my workers. Now there is one thing I will show you really quick. If I look back to the beginning, excuse me, you can see that in the beginning when I first started mining, I started mining around 845. Um, when I started mining and it took about until about 1145 before it made it to its full hash rate. So it did take three hours for it to go from start to its full hash. And then after that, you can see it has been going sideways. So at first, if it doesn't show it right off the bat, you'll understand why. Give it a couple hours, let it uh, get into its mining and uh, reporting in. And once it gets to that stable point, it will go sideways and you'll have a steady hash rate. So that's all you have to do. Uh, also, one other thing is if you wanna see what you're gonna be making. So when you click on say flux and you come down here, you can put your whatever you're getting so let's say an l3 plus if you don't have it overclocked you're getting about 500 uh, mega hash and that will get you 1.59 flux per day and then it also tells you what you get for the month um, so that just gives you that uh, when you want to see your stats like we were just looking at mine all you do is in this section right here just put your flux address and look for it and it'll bring this up like this it'll give your workers name it'll tell you all of your information right here and uh, that's all you probably should need so I appreciate y'all watching the video. Like I said, if you want to use a referral code, it'll be in the link in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, that button's right over there. If you want to watch any of my other videos, I'll have one up over there for you. I appreciate y'all checking in. If it really helped you, I definitely appreciate the thumbs up. I'll see you next time.